morning, good morning, happy Monday morning. Diana Lidstone here, uh, your Grow Business Master. And uh, as always on Monday mornings, I bring you a question for the week. And the question is always focused around our business and how we can work less, earn more, or hashtag no hustle. So if that is something that you are interested in, then stay tuned. So this morning's question to guide you through the week is, you know, it's all about revenue generating activities, RGA. So what can you do this week to generate revenue? And, you know, in my world, it's more about profit than revenue, but it starts with revenue. So revenue generating activities are things like, you know, going to networking, uh, going to the right networking events, perhaps speaking, uh, you know, different things like this that will actually start getting you in front of the right prospects. So the question this week is, what can you do that is revenue generating? A, that is not about raising your prices and B, it's not about getting new clients. So the question is, uh, what can you do? Fastest path to cash. The fastest path to cash for any business, it doesn't matter what industry you're in, it doesn't matter how long you have been in business, the fastest path to cash is always about reaching out to former clients, either past clients, current clients, etc., and seeing how you can offer them uh, additional services or what has changed in their life. And so this week I, uh, on my blog, I talk specifically about this, specifically about how you can generate cash in your business without getting new clients without raising your prices and you know people say always to me oh my god why didn't i focus on this before oh my god this was so easy so a client of mine um last week maybe it wasn't sorry just recently said something to me she said you know i've had the biggest month in recent times and i went oh interesting so what have you been doing she had created a list, and here's a tip for you, created a list of 20 of her top clients in the past, people, she has a product base, who had bought product from her before, and she reached out to them, just, you know, hi, I know we're getting back to normal in our business, uh, what has changed for you, and what can I help you do? She got... I've been waiting and it was, yeah, it was on their to-do list. Yeah, but I haven't quite got to it yet. But by reaching out and no pressure, no, you know, whatever, just about how can I help you? How can I serve you? She had her best month in recent times. So another way of doing this is to actually take your current clients and what can you offer them? in addition to what they're maybe already doing. Now, for instance, um, I have a client uh, who I've been working with privately. She is like the CEO of the business. She has a team of 10. Well, for her to step into that role of CEO, she needs to give her second in command sort of a bump up. She needs to take that person and have them start being truly the COO or the chief operations officer. And I said, well, would it be worthwhile if I had a conversation with this individual, come to oh, I was able to offer additional services to this particular company because I, they already have my no like and trust. So as you go through your week, you know, what else can you do? Now in my blog, I've given you an another uh, example 
uh, of, and I've gone a little deeper into this and why it is so much easier to get more sales, more revenue from clients that you already have or already have had. So that is the question of the week for you. What can you do to generate more sales without getting new clients and without raising your prices? Hope this has been helpful. I know it's been helpful. Uh, so until next Monday, I want you to go out there, work less, but earn more. Thanks for listening. Bye for now. Oh, comments. Comments in the below, please. You know, hashtag live, hashtag replay. Take care. Bye for now.